Yo, what up? Jay here, and we are going to give you a mini scheme. I don't know how often we're going to be doing tips, but here we go. Um, this is going to be perfect for a month because it requires no stock audibles. You're able to go around a lot. Um, I don't know how effective this is going to be. I expect zones to be patched. I expect there to be a defensive patch because this game is really bad on defense right now. And we are going to be going with tight slots. And one the, the play that we're going to revolve this entire scheme around is HP pitch. And we're just going to come out in random plays and see what hopefully there's not a lot of goal lines. And basically, what we're looking for is we're going to establish a running game. And we're going to pay attention if they're going to stack the box or if they're going to spread, out the, spread the, the box out. And we have the dive as our audible. see the type of things this HP pitch is very effective you definitely want a agile running back and the thing we like about this formation it is very symmetrical we can run it both ways I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my scheme for a while we just gotta get lucky make a block or two And I've been playing versus some more higher level, top tier competitors. And it's definitely been very effective versus what they're trying to run. Usually the HP pitch isn't what we... The dive is what we're going to make them focus on. Then usually stack the box, pitch. Stack the box, pitch. And hopefully it got a little run stick. So we hope. And then next, we're gonna go into our favorite passing plays. Tight slots is something I've been very comfortable with. I've been running it definitely at some points the past two years is the HB wheel. Very simple, quick hike type play. Just drag, make the proper read. Um, the reads are probably gonna go drag, in route, deep post, and then corner. I haven't been playing around with the low ball corner much, but these are all very good of routes that definitely take some, uh, definitely hard to keep an eye on. We obviously symmetrical, so we can run it both ways. So if you're playing somebody who's super adjusty, yeah. And we get screamed at. Love practice mode. Love random plays. And it's actually, the formation's very, very simple. There's a few playbooks that we could actually run this in, but we're gonna show you why we choose New York Jets, and it's for the stock audibles. The other last play we play, this is actually my favorite passing play in the formation, and it's deep post. And then play it again. What we usually do is we're just going to put a flat over there. And then we're going to actually in him, in read, or the, the receiver that's on the regular in. So there's a little more spacing between the in and the deep post. And hopefully the guy who's in the zone there is going to play that. Holy cow. And the deep post is our, is our money maker. Um, if they decide they're gonna throw, if they're gonna scream at us, we're gonna hit the table route into the flats. Should almost always be open. Juke's really overpowering, so you're probably gonna be able to make the first guy miss, and that's what we're hoping. And so on. I'm not exactly sure how effective low ball corners are. So uh, if it's man, it should be open, but. Ooh, it is pretty effective. Corner, corner is obviously going to beat man. If it is zone, you're probably going to want more wait longer till he hits the sideline. Yeah, definitely going to want to lowball that. Um, Deep blues can pick corner routes. Oh, the block shed and it's too OP. At least they're not sending fucking goal line at me a million times. Don't you think? Don't you think? Flat, 
and so on, you obviously can run it to both sides. Now, what we like about the New York Jets playbook is we are able to audible to other formation very quickly. And one of our first favorites is gun tight slots. And the two plays we have in the stock audibles that we're going to like to run are PA seam and bench switch, bench swap. Run it to the other way. And then PA seam. And if you notice that deep route is going to get past all the zones, it's like tight slots or tight flex from last year. The uh, PA pull shot play, very glitchy. Usually we put read on a little out route to hopefully draw a zone back. If it's open, we will dump it off. And then you're going to want to play around with the other route over there. If it's blitzing, I guess you can keep them on the check and release. I usually just streak them. There's a chance that we might be able to get a pass lead. Right there, we're just going to take it. Hopefully, this random play defense cooperates so we can show how open it gets versus a type of zone. Oh my god, I ran it to the wrong way. There we go. Ta da! Very effective play. Definitely going to require your opponent to user it. Next play that we like to audible to. Pistol, bunch tight, and verticals. Popular play from past Maddens. There's two ways we like to run this. The one way is the old reliable. Drag the tight end and make the proper read. A lot of people are running cover three as a main defense. And so the verticals can get open. The other, I went the wrong way. The other way that we can run this is, this is actually my preference way of running it, is I'm gonna streak the tight end. And I'm gonna in the middle guy. We're gonna block the running back make the right read they're gonna have to guard the uh, the post type of streak or they're gonna have to play the in something else could possibly get open but it's gonna require them to use it one of the two routes that's my preference way of running it and then let's see we have this the right way all right the other formation we get to come up we get to quickly audible to is gun split close you are going to be seeing a lot of split close this year. A lot of the top players this year are running split close. And we have the HB Power O. Always going to be an effective run. And we have HB Wheel and PA Slide. Basically, you can dra drag her in this guy. Something should get open. Old Reliable. couple of different ways it's it's a very you can run a you can run it simple or you can run it effect you can run it complex you can run it simple um, this is the main way I like to run this I will also out route the running back depends on what I'm expecting that little mini out route is a uh, very very effective you're gonna be running into tons of people running this this year the other play we like is a slide, depending on the right reels, you can honestly run it stock, and you just got to make the right read. I like that little out if it's going to be man, so-so. And this is basically why we like this, uh, it's a good little mini scene because you can quick audible do a lot of stuff if you don't like originally what you come out in, if you don't like the initial lookup, you have a ton of stuff to audible to. And when you get more to the advanced competitive levels of the game, it's a lot you're going to be... It's good to have in your arsenal. Some other good formations that we do like in the playbook say you don't actually want to come out in that. Let's see. Is... The bunch offset is decent. 
I've never ran a very good bunch, even though it was probably the best offense last year. It's never been one of my strong formation. Trey Y flex. We have old fashioned reliable levels is a good play to come out in. And then here's our quick stock audibles. Inside zone, very good this year. And this inside zone is very good this year. Um, heavy old verticals, route stock, PA crossers. When I run it, I usually, I'll keep it just like that and I'll drag someone underneath or I'll in him. Just make the right read. Have the, inside, have the in for the old last route to throw. This is all repeat. If you've been playing Madden, you know most of these plays. Most of these all work. You're going to probably end up seeing a lot of it. Also, we have my personal favorite formation in here. Of Ace Pair Chief, also known as Wing Stack. This was actually one of my favorite plays last year. That's the route we like right there. And yeah, um, we're going to try to bring you a gameplay soon. And uh, that's it for the video. If you like this scheme, come back. I love you all. Peace.